our culture that makes it very difficult to accept acknowledgement. It really is difficult for people to say thank you for listening and I really appreciate that you loved our playing. And that's hard to do because we're always sort of hiding somehow. So can you get used to that? Just love being acknowledged. Can you get that? Because you've made a lot of effort, you've worked hard. Did you come to the previous session with the strings? Did you hear yes. that? You heard that. So now you have a problem, which is you have to generate as much energy as all those kids together, plus that incredible teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, and you're not doing that yet. All right, so let's see whether we can get that energy going. Did you, did you hear when we were working on it and we were getting different tempi? We did slower and then we did faster and faster. So that's something that would be good for you to experiment with. But let's do the introduction. The very first introduction. Good. Now, that very first chord is enormous. It's obviously conceived with a whole orchestra in mind. Right? They, they didn't, Telemann didn't think there were four people there. He thought there were probably 40 people there, and they were in a cathedral. <laughs> right? With resonance. So can you just do, just play the chord over and over and over again till you get the biggest sound that you can, four people can make. Just play over and over, just don't stop. Just play. Right. You can really, really, really play. I mean, you know, just really get, just jump up a moment. Get up. So, so you play the A. Play with me. Play, everybody. You should be able to play more than me. I'm 79. You're young. You should play very intense, very loud. Just play again, all together. Oh, it's an F natural. Sorry. Right. Uh, isn't that a strange harmony? Do you get, can you make that much sound? <laughs> Try, look, what you do is you p play lots of vibrato like this, with your left hand going like crazy like that, and the bow very heavy near the bridge. <laughs> and then you feel very proud. If you feel very proud, <laughs> and if you put your head up like that, it'll sound louder. <laughs> That's why Yo-Yo does that. That's his secret. Don't tell anybody. He goes... Mm. And it sounds louder just because he puts his head up. No, that's... I just invented that. Don't take any less. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Everybody, just the first note. Keep going, keep going on the first note. You could, you could be a little bit more. 
right? Just play a little bit more nearer the bridge and move the bow slower and imagine you had a 10 pound weight at the end of your bow which you were dragging through because that's what I do when I do that. I imagine this bow is very, very heavy and... <laughs> Sorry, sorry to hit you. But you look, I, I just have this 10 pound weight at the end. Mm. Just try that. Okay, ready. Just the first note. Just keep playing. Get nearer the bridge. Right. There it is. There we go. That's the way. Isn't that great? That's beautiful. Yes, now you've got it. Good. You're allowed to smile. Okay, you're allowed to <laughs> Okay, now let's do what he wrote, but play that very heavy sound. Yeah. One. <clears throat> so isn't that interesting? Everything is built in threes. You remember I said everything built in threes? Did you hear me say that before? Yes. So there's first one, then the second one, and the third one goes all the way. All right? So which is this? Is this IUE or one, two, three? One, two, three, exactly, because it builds. Right? So play as much as you can, and then play more. <laughs> OK, you ready? Two. Can you breathe before you play like this? <gasps> Whoa! Like that. Can we get the whole audience to breathe? That'll help. Ready? But you're going to play, they're going to breathe. Ready? That was a lot better. A lot better. Don't you feel? Isn't that great? That's like saying something grand and noble and powerful and confident. All this music was written for people who were very confident. It was written for kings and queens and princes and archbishops and people who, you know, a friend of mine <laughs> told me this story. I shouldn't tell you this story, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> he was Indian, so that'll explain what happened. He was a great Indian mathematician. He, we were in the railway station in London together, and he went up to a gentleman in uniform, mm -hmm. and he said, are you the station master? And the man said, no, sir, I'm a porter. And he said, oh, if you are not the station master, how come you are walking so proudly? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> I don't know why I told that story. <laughs> So walk proudly, okay? Now, of course, this music, you would have been standing up. You realize that, right? Nobody sit or sat down. Unfortunately, the cello had to sit down, except Woody Allen. So stand up. And you stand up inside, okay? <laughs> Do you know what it means to stand up inside? You know what I mean? You're sitting down, but really you're standing up? Okay, here we go. Big sound, breath from the audience. One, two, three. <laughs> Beautiful. So I'm going to say something very personal to you. I love you. I love your playing. I'm worried that you never smile. So, and here's a problem, because I tell you something, this is really important, that we keep doing what we've already done. If you, if you do something, it's like to tell a story about yourself, and you tell it enough, you'll believe it. And it's the same with smiling. If you, don't, if you get used to not smiling and not being open with your face, that will become a habit. That's a bad habit. Can I, can I ask you to... Get over that habit. Great. Ooh, a little, little smile. We got that. <laughs> <laughs> Great. One last time. It's going to be grand. And you're going to actually smile when you do it. You ready? <laughs> Here we go. Three. We're going to breathe. One, two, three. <gasps> The 
next section is all about energy. So let's see whether we can generate the energy. Ready? It's dum pum pum pim pum 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 pim pum pa like that. One, two, one, two, two, two. often don't realize that what we're doing is a gift. You think they're clapping to say bravo. They're not saying bravo, they're saying thank you. Do you know the difference between bravo and thank you? Bravo is, well done young ladies, you're doing very nicely, keep practicing. <laughs> thank you is, you opened up something in my life that has been dormant for a year. Do you understand? That? That's what that applause is. Thank you. Would you show them again? Give them the applause. And wait, wait. Yeah, wait. I want you to get that this applause is not for you, it's for what you did for them. Can you get that? All right, now. You're great. You're great. You're great. Good you get what they're saying? You get, you get the message. So here's an opportunity for you four. You could get up and tell a story about being not good enough. Easy to come up with that one. You can tell a story about it'll never work out. You can tell a story about nobody cares. Or you can tell a story about your contribution to the world. And all those stories are equally valid. They're just invented stories. What I recommend you do is you wake up every morning and tell the story that you are a contribution to the world. And you know what it'll do? It'll make you smile. <laughs> Would you promise to do that? Beautiful. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 